Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! New Terms Scenario Face Up Alright then, so I'm going to have the AI explain Face Up. With that being said, let's get on with the rest of the video. Can you explain to me the context of Face Up in terms of effects and utility? Of course, Face Up is quite interesting in Yu-Gi-Oh! It allows interesting interactions to occur. For instance, when a monster has an effect, it has it not just because it's on the field, but also because it is in the monster zone. However, when we have a monster like Snake Eye Flamberge Dragon with the ability to target an opponent's monster and place it in their spell and trap zone. At first, this doesn't feel important, but in reality, zone changing introduces a brand new way of removal and of monsters' inherent activation conditions. Monsters' inherent activation conditions are they need to be in the monster zone to activate their abilities and need to be classed as monsters. Removing this classification means it removes the abilities monsters inherently have. Let me give an example. Mirror Jade Ice Blade Dragon has an ability that when it's sent to the graveyard via the effect of the opponent at the end phase destroy all of your opponent's monsters when it enters the graveyard. So what do you think happens if Snake Eye Flamberge Dragon places it in the spell and trap zone then destroys it? Does it get to activate its effect in the end phase, you ask? The answer is no. Why? Because the zone change of Mirror Jade changed its class, it became a spell slash trap, as such when it is removed by the opponent in the spell slash trap zone. Mirror Jade inherent monster ability will not activate as its class is no longer a monster but a spell. That makes a lot of sense. Glad to be of service. Hope to see you soon. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.